Eine Gastfamilie, mit der man sich super versteht und gerne viel Zeit verbringt, ist der Traum von jedem Austauschschüler. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Ja, yes. <lacht> Not much German. Unserer Teilnehmerin Hannah haben wir diesen Traum in Kanada ermöglicht. In diesem Video stellt euch Hannah ihre Gastmutter Michelle vor und fragt sie beispielsweise, wie sie und ihr Ehemann zu der Entscheidung kamen, eine Austauschschülerin bei sich aufzunehmen, welche Sorgen sie hatten und ob sie Hannah dann sogar in Deutschland besuchen kommen werden. Wenn euch interessiert, was für eine tolle Beziehung bei einem Schüleraustausch entstehen kann, dann bleibt unbedingt dran. Euer Feedback ist uns wichtig. Falls ihr Anregungen oder Vorschläge für weitere Videos habt, dann schreibt diese gerne in die Kommentare. Und jetzt viel Spaß bei dem Video. Direkt nach dem Intro geht's los. Do you want to introduce yes. Hello, my name is Michelle Klopper and I live in Ladysmith, which is on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. And my husband and I have five young children, so we're a family of seven. And with Hannah joining us, now we're a family of eight. <laughs> and our children range in age from 11 down to four months. First question, what German words do you know? Uh, I know Merksglas. My children and I are studying the solar system right now. And so we just learned that word last week, uh, which is galaxy and home. to welcome a stranger into your family and trust them? Uh, I don't think it's been too hard. I mean, we obviously were able to look at Hannah's profile first and we did have one Zoom meeting before she came as well. And yeah, so it hasn't been, um, it hasn't been too hard. I think we've also kind of had the idea that Hannah has made this decision to come to Canada. It's been a big decision, I'm sure, for her and her family. They've invested a lot in it and a lot of time and I'm sure finances and all of that. So I think it would, it would be something that she would choose to do and be an honest person, I'm sure. So I don't think it has been too hard for us to trust Hannah and she's a lovely girl, so. <laughs> Will you ever come and visit me in Germany? Yes, that would be amazing. I have never been over to Europe, but we do plan on it. Of course, once all the COVID restrictions are lifted, we would love to travel to Europe one day. My husband is from South Africa, and so I think we would like to make a stop uh, on our way to South Africa one day. We'd like to stop in Europe. So that would be amazing to come mm -hmm. meet your family and see your village and that. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. How did you came to the decision to welcome an international student into your family? Uh, well, we have done it before on like a short term basis. We have had two Japanese students stay with us in the past just for about three days each. Uh, and then I had a friend uh, post uh, on Facebook. She did a Facebook post. Uh, and so I'll just kind of share the story a little bit. So she did a Facebook post and she was feeling maybe overwhelmed or uncertain as to why Canada is allowing international travel. And so her post on Facebook was saying that she doesn't think it should be allowed. And me and my husband seen the post and we said, hey, this would be a great opportunity. So my friend seen, seen the, uh, the travel into Canada as like a burden, something that shouldn't be happening. Uh, some people see um, opportunity and we've seen an, an opportunity here and some people see challenges or look at things in a negative way. So we, and we thought it would be an amazing experience for our children once again. And we just thought, hey, we have the space. Why not open up our home for a long-term okay. student? And yeah, it's been working great so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is one word that you use all the time that I probably didn't know? And this was a question we were wondering a lot. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I think there's one okay. word we find out. And yes, is puppy. Yeah. yeah, it's like the word puppy. for small dog. Our, our dog, yes, yeah. our dog is just a year old, so we call her puppy. 
and on the first days or on the first week they always use yeah. this word and I was like what does this mean and then translated and then I was like oh <laughs> makes sense yes yeah, so, yeah and then was it hard for the kids to welcome me and how did they handle it yeah I think they're pretty welcoming our children our ages four months of course and we have a four-year-old a seven-year-old an eight-year-old and an 11 year old they are used to uh, not, I mean, they're used to sharing and very used to having lots of people around and all of that. So I think that they have really enjoyed it. Uh, it's like having an older sibling, I think, for them. And Hannah's just been amazing with like playing games with them and being really involved with them. So I think they have handled it really well. It's been a great, a, a great adjustment. And we obviously spoke to them. I mean, you came on January 14th, so they had about a month to prepare and we talked about it and what it would be like and all of that. So yeah, I think they've done, they've done well. Yeah, yeah it's on good. my, I came like, on which time? In the evening? Yes. And they were all standing there and had pictures for me yes. and now they are hanging all in my room and nice. yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. been good. What were your biggest concerns with having a student? I think our biggest, one of our biggest concerns was because we do have younger children uh, and they are up earlier, uh, I think a big concern was are they going to be maybe too noisy for Hannah, especially on weekends when she's maybe wanting to sleep in and not at school, are their children going to be too noisy was kind of one of our big concerns. So this is our living room we're in now and this was kind of where they would play, but and this is right above Hannah's room, this space here, so I kind of moved toys out of this room and I made them their own little uh, playroom which is not right above Hannah's space so just kind of being more mindful of the noise for you and wanting to them to just be respectful but not to be too noisy and that is, is kind of one of the bigger concerns that we had before. this was one of mine as well because I was like hopefully once a week like long asleep yes, and it works good Yes, I can yeah. sleep a lot. Yes. <laughs> I do sleep a lot. Because <laughs> young children are up very early yeah. and I was like, oh no, what if they wake Hannah up? But um, it's been the first days when my quarantina was on my jet lag. It was like yes. waking up at 2 or 3 in the night. Right. Yeah. And then I was still awake when they were awake, so it was yes. good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was your first impression on Zoom and later in real life of me? Yeah, so our first Zoom was with Hannah and her mother, and it was just really neat to get to know her on our Zoom call that way. It was me and my husband and all the children, and I think we maybe we chatted for about an hour or oh, so, yeah. just asked some questions and that, and we thought she was really lovely and really well-spoken, great English. And then when I picked Hannah up at the airport, <laughs> <laughs> wow, Hannah, you're tall. This is, <laughs> Hannah is five, uh, five foot, 10. I think so, yeah. Five foot 10 and I'm 5'3". And so, and then the space, the room that we created downstairs is in uh, a room that the ceiling, one part of the ceiling is a bit lower. So uh, I think, yeah, uh, I just, always need to go a little bit yes. down. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. it's, yeah, it's been good. I love the moment when you were picking me up on the airport because you had the piece of paper yes. with my name on it. And first I was like, maybe can I see you or... Do you know because we only saw once at the zoom call yes but then it was like look all the people and i know from the first moment this yes you can write you me, and yeah. then yeah <laughs> that's awesome how did you feel during my quarantine well quarantine yeah so it was two weeks that hannah was quarantining here and i think it was obviously it wasn't as hard for us than it would have been for Hannah staying in her room and it was during the, the month of January so it wasn't the best weather but we were able to go outside in our backyard yeah. how was yeah. it for you was it, it was um, hard yeah it was hard yeah. because I had the feeling I came to a new country live with a new family and yes. I wanted to talk as much as I can to you right and I hadn't the chance because I was just sitting in my room yes and then I also feel a little bit of bad to just see you try th or three times a day and you always give, always give me my meal and then you came, knock on my door, give me my food and go away again. So I was like, I'm just here to get my food, but... <laughs> yes, and it was amazing for, I mean, it's been really great for... My husband was off work, he's gone back to work now, but he was off work for three months for us to have our fifth baby. 
And so the timing was really perfect as well. Um, just having his help. I think he mm. made most of the meals every day for Good Hannah. Meals. <laughs> Good meals. <laughs> she really loved it. What was his favorite meal? The omelets. The omelets. The yeah. omelets. Yes. <laughs> so he has to teach you how to make those before, uh -huh. before you go home. So he was uh, very helpful in that way. So just having him home, it was the perfect timing for us to welcome a student and to have Hannah quarantining during that time. Obviously the quarantine is the hardest part, I think, right? Obviously now yeah. Hannah can make her own meals and do that. So yeah, I think it worked out well for the timing. He was off for three months. So. Also enjoyed then the time to were outside in the backyard and yes. try to talk for like an hour and yes. drink hot chocolate. And right, yes, that was good. It was like the first time we really meet and did conversation, mm -hmm. so yes. yeah. And the last question, okay. will you ever get another student? Yes, I'm sure we possibly will do this again, <laughs> but will they be as lovely as Hannah? That's... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think we might. I mean, we have the space and I think it's been, it's been a great transition for us. And the high school is literally like a two minute walk for Hannah. So yeah. it's just really close. So it does, it works really well with our family and I'm home anyways, homeschooling my children and that. So. Yeah, it's been really good. Every student can be happy to stay here with me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Hannah has three months left. It's kind of time is running. Yeah. At first I was like, wow, half a year is such a long time, but mm. now it's like, Whew. time is running. Yes. Yeah. Only three months left. Yeah. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we do many great things here. Try to do every day something special. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. Even if it's just games at the table with the children, it's been, yeah. It's I bring been awesome. two German games with and mm -hmm. the kids love them. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get angry and kniffle. Kniffle, yes. Yeah. Also, Mensch ärgere dich nicht und kniffle. Oder jazzi und ja. Ja. <laughs> Wenn auch du eine so tolle und super nette Gastmutter wie Hannah haben möchtest, dann verschwende keine Zeit mehr und rufe die jetzt eingeblendete Nummer für ein Gespräch mit unseren Experten an. Du willst auch nach Kanada? Dann bestell dir einfach eine unserer Broschüren direkt zu dir nach Hause. Für mehr Informationen zu Hannah und ihrem Auslandsaufenthalt in Kanada, schau dir ihr Video, meine Umbuchung nach Kanada sowie unseren Instagram-Kanal an. Wir freuen uns schon auf dich, dein Team von Kulturwerke Deutschland.